Today I am going to be talking about turn offs, things that turn you off. No, 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 no. There was a time in my life when I made a turn ons video and it was how to turn on a girl and it kind of worked for guys too. It's also to teach guys how to turn on a girl. And uh, that video did really good. You guys liked it a lot. And so you guys love when I do like relationship advice stuff. So today I thought that I would do turn offs and I would do things that turn off girls. But I am getting a lot more girl subscribers and I love you guys too. And so I'm going to try to make this as, you know, I guess two-sided as possible but if you are a girl please please do me a favor and comment below and help the guys out if i missed anything what's a big turn off for you what do you think i should have put in this video to help guys out give me some turn offs put them in the comments also subscribe right here if you're new because i do fun cool stuff it's kind of a mess but it's okay let's okay cool subscribe yeah number one flip-flops I'm gonna get so much shit for this because I feel like whenever I say something that has to do with the guy's like looks or his appearance, every every guy's like, "Fuck you, fucking bitch! I'll wear fucking flip flops and farmer jeans." But like, I'm just trying to help you out, motherfucker. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm alone on this. That's not true. I know for a f***ing fact I'm not. Flip flops are gross. If you're at the beach, you can wear flip flops, and you cannot wear them at any other time in your life. The only thing worse than a guy wearing flip-flops not at the beach is a guy who wears like socks and jordans to the beach don't do either of those i hate flip-flops i'm sorry and i feel like girls do too you're a guy you have ugly feet nobody wants to see them i take it back if you're an extremely like a ridiculously hot surfer dude and you live like walking distance to the beach you can get away with a t-shirt more shorts and flip-flops i will give you that but you better have some fucking sand in your hair and a tan and you better be holding a surfboard because otherwise you're Shoes in general, like don't wear Crocs. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care that they're comfortable. I really could give a shit. Unless you are a baby at the beach or you are grandma gardening, get those <laughs> Crocs off your feet. Triple points if you're wearing Crocs and you have like a special little clip, you know, that you can put little like emojis on your Crocs. Fuck you. Shoes are a huge thing. Girls care about clothing in general, like obviously how you look, and every girl has their own unique style that they like, but every girl can agree that shoes are the worst part. You could be dressed kind of like crappy, but shoes, are a big deal. I'm sorry, they're a big deal. Next one, I'm also gonna get a lot of shit for this, but whatever. When a guy is too charming and confident, and I know I said in the channel's video that the biggest, biggest, biggest thing is confidence, and I'm sticking to that, but there's also a certain amount of charm where a girl's like, how many people have you killed? It's just like at a certain point, you're very, you come off almost like sociopathic a little bit. And then even if you're not like creepy charming, it's also like if you're too confident at the point where you're like cocky and you're like so charming that like the waitress is like wetting her pants when you're like ordering, then we just want, you know what I mean? You probably had sex like, I just fucked two bitches before I saw you, right? Like the weekend style. So it's just like, there's a line. There's always a line, you know? Yeah, we want you to be confident, but don't like fuck everything that walks with all of your confidence because that's, nope, nope. This next one is petty as hell, but I'm adding it in. And it's emoji use. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. If you're texting a girl and it's still new and you're trying to like, I don't know, impress her. It's like girls, I feel like guys too. Everybody has their own like texting style. And if you're the kind of person who only uses like lowercase or you use uppercase a lot, or you're like one of the people who triple, quadruple text or somebody who writes it all in one thing, or you're an emoji user or you're not an emoji user or you're one who still uses semicolon parentheses, like an OG, you know, regulate your emojis because if you use too many emojis, that's just fucking weird. If you're like, oh yeah, she's gonna love that shit. No, it's not cute. Nah, don't like that. Girls don't like that. They're like, okay, we get it. You like me. But also don't use two little emojis. If you're the kind of person who always texts just like, yeah, be there at five, period. You might think that you're not interested or that we're annoying you. There's, it, It's an art form. Texting and emojis, it's an art form. Find a nice medium. A friendly, but not weird. In life, actually, find that medium. When you take selfies like a girl, this is... I know a guy who takes, like, selfies, like, girl selfies, and he, like, he does this. He like squints his eyes and purses his lips. It's just weird. It's like it's like the guy version of the girls who were like 
And then the caption is something like, my nose looks weird today. It's like, bitch, we are not looking at your nose. We are staring at your titties. And same with guys. If you're like pursing your lips or you're taking like an ab selfie and you're like, go be the most busy you today. It's like, who are you trying to impress? Calm the fucking shit down. I say this all the time, but if you are a bad tipper slash mean to service people, you are fucking up and that's a huge turn off and any inkling of a chance that she's gonna have sex with you is like 99% out the window unless she's also as much of an asshole and you don't wanna fuck around with that anyway. Tip well, be nice, be respectful. Pretty simple. And then we know you got hella dollar dollar Bailey on, you can be our daddy. Oh my God, what the fuck? I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. Fingernails, fingernails, like we don't, you know, you don't really go get manicures, but like keep them trimmed, make sure they're not like a bunch of like grime and dirt underneath. We know that you're men, but like, just keep it nice, you know? That finger's gonna be in our pot later. Too far, what's new? This is something I feel like a lot of guys don't know, but girls hate it and it's such a turn off when guys either one, talk shit about their exes, or two, compliment us by comparing us to other girls. Like, if you're like, you're so beautiful. Like, I love that you don't want to make Like, look at that girl over there. She just looks like a bimbo, like a clown. That's gross. Like, I don't want you to compliment me by being mean to some other girl who didn't do shit to you. Like, no. That girl can wear whatever she wants and do whatever she wants. She can wear a fuck ton of makeup. I can wear no makeup. That doesn't make me any better or less than her. And I could give a shit what your opinion is on makeup because you don't know about it. Same with your exes. It's like if you were on a first date and you're constantly talking shit about how crazy your exes were or how annoying they are or how, you know, how much shit they gave you. It's like, then we're like, okay, when we break up, you're going to go and talk a lot of shit about me. When a guy says all of my exes are crazy, what he really means is I'm a huge piece of shit. And the last one. For all you older kitties out there, I don't mean older kitties, that's weird. If you're like old enough to have sex and be normal, don't be a selfish lover. That's just the truth. Nobody wants a quick pumper. Nobody wants a, uh uh, okay, you can leave my house now. Pay attention to her needs. What does she like? Take it slow. Ask her what she likes. Figure it out. Don't just shove her head down on you and then jizz all over her face and then don't even get her a towel because that's rude. Nobody likes a selfish lover no matter how hot or cool you are. So get those mouth muscles ready. God. Anyways, those are all of my biggest turnoffs. I think a lot of girls turn offs. I talked about this with a lot of girlfriends of mine who are all very hot, by the way, and they agreed with me on these. And girls, if I missed any or if you have like a specific turnoff, Leave it in the comments below. Guys, what do you think about this? If you want some more relationship type advice, sex advice, um, stuff like this, leave a like on this video to 2,500 likes. If you guys enjoyed this, subscribe right here if you're new. I'll talk to you later. I love you guys. Okay, bye.